Hey guys, Bob from Gill Skills. Today marks the third installment of scrapping that e-waste that I picked up about three or so weeks back. So stay tuned for this exciting episode of Gill Skills. All right, guys, so as you saw before the intro, uh, there really isn't all that much left, thankfully. <laughs> uh, so I can move on to making some of the other videos that I'm looking forward to making, like the wire harness install video for my RAV4. And then I need to make some um, walls for my trailer so that we can get that all ship shape and ready to go when we're gonna start really hunting for some steel. But anyway, Long story short, we're going to get this done right now, but before I do, I wanted to let you know the feature channel of the day is going to be Eye Candy. Eye Candy is a fantastic channel and she cooks. She does a lot of cooking on her channel. Uh, <laughs> my mouth is watering just thinking about it because I just got finished watching her Taco Tuesday video. If you get the chance, go out and check out Eye Candy's channel, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Let's get started. VCR. Oh. All right, I might have to fast forward through some of this. to this VCR. There ain't a whole lot to this. Check that out. I just got back from camping and I find this just as relaxing as I did when I was camping. Is that weird? Got copper bearing transformer there. Looks like we got a little IC here. Yep. Tons of stuff here we could take off. We've got a little crystal oscillator. Awesome. Oh, there's a little bit of copper there too. So I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to continue on that because there's still there's a copper bearing motor here. And this piece is aluminum here. I'm going to micro scrap this later on and separate all that steel from the uh, from the aluminum. I crave my micro scrapping. Right now, I'm craving a taco because she made some killer tacos. Her husband is also the Slotto, the Slotto man, I believe is his name on YouTube. Check him out. He uh, posts videos of him buying scratch tickets and he goes through and scratches them off and whatnot. It's actually pretty cool. You ought to check that out too. V 
VCRs are not really all that much fun to scrap. I mean, they are, but they're not. They don't really yield all that much. I'd rather have a DVD player than an older VCR any day because it's going gonna, it's gonna to have more precious metals. It's going to have a higher grade board in it. I think that's good for the shred pile. What do you think, guys? A lot of plasticky junk. A lot of plasticky junk in those VCRs. All right, let me clear the board here, guys, and I'll move on to the next item. What do we want to scrap next? This is a part of a trailer hitch system. The fifth wheel, I think. But it is a part of that pile over there, so I put it there as are these stereo speakers um, covers, which are ferrous. We'll put those over there. Woohoo, I'm getting there. I don't know, I might have to keep this cable. Um, it should come in handy at some point. I think this is keep life, so I am gonna keep it. Let's do, let's do a microwave. Oh, this is an oldie. Ugh. Ugh. No. I'll throw that. Oh, God. It's disgusting. Oof. <sighs> Nothing worse than an old microwave, old mess splatter. happy on this microwave. Of course it's it's an older model. What do you think the chances are uh, this transformer has all copper in it? Do the gill skills dance on this thing. Woo! There's more steel for the dream. Looks like we got some brass connectors here. checking to see if this wire is aluminum or copper. Surprisingly, it's aluminum. Hmm. Interesting. So we've got this big old transformer in here. I'm going to get rid of. We've got some copper bearing motors here and a transformer here. We got that capacitor and of course the um, the infamous magnetron. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that out and take as much out of there as I possibly can. And we shall go from there. want to be careful with these things because sometimes they can hold a charge afterwards. This thing has been dormant for quite some time, so I doubt it'll have any kind of charge, but it's not, not a good idea to grab one, especially if it's been plugged in recently. Wow. 
look at that honking motor. Now, I know you guys are all drooling. You want to know. So, let's do the scratch test and see what we got. Now, see, I think this side right here is aluminum. So, oh well, you win some, you lose some. This side is uh, aluminum. This side is definitely copper. So, and that's one heavy transformer too. So if you got nothing better to do, you can take this apart. You can separate the aluminum, the copper, and the steel. Um, if you don't, you can throw it in one bucket and they'll give you a mixed metal rate, like a transformer or uh, copper bearing motor rate. Boy, that's heavy though. Some scrapyards won't even take a microwave with a magnetron in it. It's always best to separate it out. And then be respectful and ask your scrapyard, Hey, do you take microwaves with magnetrons? The worst they're going to say is no. But if you've already separated it out in advance, that makes it your life that much easier. If they say no, they're like, okay, well, I'll take the magnetrons home with me. So you got your magnetron. I wouldn't necessarily recommend taking this apart, but if you did want to, there is some copper in here. There is some brass mesh right here. Uh, and there's some aluminum here with these fins. And you've even got some uh, magnets as well. However, I have to really caution you. Uh, taking these apart, especially the older ones, there's uh, something in it called, I think it's beryllium or some sort of, hard to pronounce word that's really really that could really really ha affect your health if you uh, inhale it you know if this breaks it could turn into a powder which can be inhaled uh, and you can develop all sorts of health issues later so i don't take these apart i don't think it's worth it i don't think it's worth the health uh, issues that might possibly ensue so i leave that whole We got a nice board in here with, with an IC and a transformer. Uh, looks like there's a copper spool in here. There might be one in here too. So that's that's a nice little board. So I think it's a low grade board, but you know, it's got some nice nuggets I can take off of it. That's gross, but there is copper in there. All right, once I pull this up, there should be a nice bearing motor waiting for me. Sweet. What I do is I like taking the plastic off the door as well. There's a lot of metal still on the microwave door. So I just take the plastic off because I'm very self-conscious about bringing anything to the scrapyard that has a great deal of junk on it, you know, that they don't buy. So it's always good to be responsible and, you know, you get a good reputation for doing the right thing that way. See how the plastic just comes right off? You're left with nothing but a metal door. A lot of rookie mistakes. A lot of rookies will just take the whole door off. You don't need to do that. There is metal plastic here too, but the majority of this is metal and the scrap yet will take it with that plastic on there. It's no big deal. So really not too much left to this. We've got the copper bearing motor on the very bottom. We got we got it all the wires out. We took the magnetron out. We took the transformer out. There's no rogue wires or anything that else that I can see. So now, the really nice thing is this, this becomes this becomes a vessel for scrap. So I can put all of the scrap, the steel. Oh, I tell you what, though, this is one greasy thing. Put all of that scrap steel in there, which is what I'm going to do. All right.
right, let's finish this. We'll get this copper bearing motor off out of here and then we'll move on to the next item. dust and everything that's in this thing and grime is not helping the allergies at all and everybody's scrapping everybody's way to scrap is going to be different so you know you may be looking at this and going I would not do it that way and that's okay you know everybody's different I just know that this way works for me all right so that should come out all right perfect so this is just basically a copper transformer. And with the CRTs, you want to keep these handy. You want to keep all these handy. Because generally when you're done scrapping out all the copper and everything out of it, you want to put it back together. You don't want to puncture or damage the tube that's inside. If there's anyone new to the channel, watching my channel for the very first time welcome welcome to Gill skills my name is Bob it's a pleasure to have you here my channel basically is about DIY the empowerment that it brings people to discover that you can do things certain things in life yourself to be able to save money or make a little extra money doing things you know like scrapping like I'm doing tonight so it's about community, you know, it's about helping each other. I've had videos on taking apart a CRT television before. Feel free to check out the Gill Skills archive or just go back a year or so and you'll find it. It's actually pretty enlightening. So there's the, the board, there's some copper on that right there, but there's really not a whole lot to this piece, this board. It's just a, in my opinion, it's just a low grade board, but I'll go ahead and put it on over there. It's got a chunk of aluminum I'm going to want off of it. The piece of the resistance is still in here. We took the wire out, we took the board out. So now we want to take the rest of the copper out. So to do that, just take this top piece right off the yoke. And there's some components on this board too. There's really not a whole lot to it. Not really worth all that much. It's just a low grade board. So at all costs, we don't want to damage this because if anything comes out, you know, if it breaks, there's, there's all sorts of gases in here that could make your, your day um, not so pleasant. So this metallic piece here that I'm working on removing is also stainless steel. And I have a whole bunch of these in a jar somewhere. And this is gonna go join its buddies. All right, so now that that's off, we can go ahead and take all these plastic pieces off, just gently pull it out. And then sometimes it's glued to the, the actual uh, tube itself, so you wanna be super careful and just gently start twisting. And then just pull right off, just like that. And all that in there is copper. Beautiful, beautiful copper. We're still not done, almost, but we're not done yet. So the next thing we're gonna want is the degaussing cable, which is in here. And uh, from the feel of it, it feels like it's gonna be a copper one. Sometimes they can be aluminum. So that is definitely copper. See, I don't know how well you guys can see it, but it's coated copper. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's coated copper, which is awesome. So we got a nice big giant degaussing cable. All that's really left in here is the speaker. Uh, you know, you can remove the speaker and take it if you want to. I'll take it just for, just for the heck of it. And uh, everything else in here stays in here. And we just simply put it all back together. Here's another piece that I got. 
That was from a trailer hitch system. That's good and heavy. Uh, that's gonna go here. Another good heavy piece of steel. All right, looks like we've got more steel. Got a safe here. The safe does come with the... Uh, the safe does come with the key. If there's anybody that might be interested in having this that lives locally, or even if you don't live locally, let me know and I'll arrange to send it out to you. So we've got some brass here, nice big piece of copper. Um, I think this is brass as well, but I'll definitely want to try to separate that out if I can and get rid of this plastic piece here. Yes, sir. And I'll just put that right up there for now. I think that's just a um, PVC pipe, um, but this piece is brass. This is all brass here from what I can tell here. I just need to take this top piece off and then get rid of these plastic pieces. And we'll be good to go there. And we get a stereo. And we had those steel meshes for the stereo here. Um, I already took those out and put those over there. Let's go ahead and take apart the stereo. Just a big hunk of plastic. plastic. Oh, wait a minute. I lied. There's one screw there. Now it's all plastic. Let me go throw this stuff away. Some gold flashing pins in there. There's another board in there and there's a ton more screws. Hey! Looks like there's some extruded aluminum in there. Woohoo! I count that as a score. Nice big piece of extruded. Huh. Gotta love it. So many screws. So one thing about scrapping is you take a lot of stuff apart if you're micro scrapping. And if you're not, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> oh, beautiful. That came off clean. There's no metal bits, no steel bits, all straight up aluminum. Very nice. I cannot get over how many screws are in this thing. No metal left behind. Oh my gosh, just when I thought it was done, there's more screws. There's two more screws in there. There's a little board with a few ICs on there. So this is just one big plastic carcass. Done. Get another piece of copper brass fitting here. All I gotta do is just take this top piece off and we get a nice little combination of brass and copper. And I'll try my best to separate them. I know some of this with solder is gonna be dirty, so I'll try to cut that off, cut those pieces off. But we get a nice long piece of copper right here. We've got two big pieces of extruded aluminum, which is totally awesome. Um, that up so it fits in my little bin here. This one's got a little bit of steel on it, but no big deal. I could just kind of hammer that out, and uh, that'll be extra steel for the uh, shred pile and leg iron. So I'll do that in a few minutes.
If you want to learn to micro scrap, forget all the other YouTube crap. In his vehicle that he fills with all of the e waste thrills, he has energy, but he takes no pills. Shows you how you can pay your bills. So much scrap, it's like scrap hills. It's 